Hey everybody, I wanted to ask if you could uh, do me a favor. I got a call last night from a sister, M Millie, and she was pretty desperate for prayer and she wanted me to make a video, so. Um, it definitely is a dramatic situation and she's basically, first of all, her son, who's 16, Michael, he was diagnosed with diabetes last week, and then on top of that, Millie's husband, um, who's very controlling and mean, um, is saying that he's going to force their son to take the COVID shot. Okay, now all of you would understand why that would be very traumatizing, because we know that it has deadly ingredients in it that shut down your immune system and um it's just really bad okay so so she wants prayer that you know that God would block that he said he made an appointment for him already um so they're you know healing for Michael as well as uh stopping this evil assignment Please pray for peace, too, for Millie and deliverance for the husband. And, you know, and I know a lot of you are going through similar things. And, um, you know, I was telling her last night, I said, you know, um, the enemy comes and roars like a lion. He, a lot of his attacks come in the form of threats saying, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. That never comes to pass. Because we have to cast down vain imaginations and hold every thought captive to the mind of Christ because we wrestle not with flesh and blood. So keep that in mind when you're praying and when you're, you know, praying about your own situation because um, we have authority in Christ. And, but we have to, you know, I told her, think about uh, what God says about the situation. Don't, you know, don't entertain the fear the scenario that, that's been threatened, just think about what God says about the situation if we stand on his word and his promises. So, you know, for all of what you all are going out, going through out there, remember too that it's, the battle is in the mind and God's given us the victory, but we do have to stand on it, we have to believe it, and we have to fight for it. Um, in different situations that we get into. Um, but believing, have faith, keep your faith. Have faith in what you're praying for and thank God for it, rather than entertain anything else. You know, that way fear has to bow down, doubt, unbelief has to bow at your feet, at the foot of the stool of Jesus Christ. Um, so anyway, can you please keep her in prayer and... Um, and also, if you have prayer requests, you know, you can write them in the comments. And all of you out there, let's just all pray for each other. I mean, this is, we've got to do this right now. We're in a very dramatic time. The dragon is trying to devour the baby before it gets birth at the rapture, right? Revelation 12's uh, a sign. I, that's what's happening right now. So, um, but, but the, ba the dragon cannot devour the baby. That's the good news because God is rescuing us. So, um, thank you so much for doing that. Um, love you guys. God bless you all. And I'll talk to you soon.